When he got his hand raised at the end, he comes on here and he's saying, I want, I want an interim shot. I want to go against Stipe. I want to go against Cyril Gaon. When you put on a performance like that in the main event over here with a great crowd in Columbus, Ohio, it warrants those type of matchups. So I think he's deserving of one of these call-outs. I also think that it's a confidence thing. I think Blades has always had the tools, but I think that he's maybe it took time for him to find his confidence to lean on his striking. And when you go out and put out a performance like that, Alan, you're going to get what you ask for. If you're going to go out there and knock guys out in devastating fashion at heavyweight, you're going to get what you ask for. I would not be surprised to see Blades in a very marquee fight before the year's end. He needed it, right? He needed that. The Blades has been known as the takedown guy. But when you have a marquee guy that knocks people out, and he can always fall back on the wrestling, the UFC has more confidence, so put him in these big spots. Yeah, already in the top five as we take a look at the heavyweight ranking. Certainly not going anywhere after the performance tonight. He wants a shot at the title. And let's remember, the only people that have ever beaten Curtis Blades Francis Ngannou twice, and Derek Lewis. What, what, what about a matchup with, he called out Stipe, he talked about Cyril Gaon. What about Taitu Ivasa and Curtis Blades? I would love to see that. I would love to see that, but we got to remember, and I'm not trying to throw a little, you know, throw a little gas on the fire, but John Jones is still waiting in the wings. We don't know what they're going to do with them, if they're going to do an interim title fight or what. All I know is there's a lot of fun things you can do with Curtis Blades, and I'm leaning more towards him fighting Cyril Gaon or Stipe. I like those fights. It's, it's, it's tough to match Tai Tui Voss right now, but he's on a roll as well. I, I just I look at the top five at heavyweight, and there's not a bad matchup to be made. The, the heavyweight division in the UFC has had a resurgence as of lately, right? I mean, the, the, the title shifted hands somewhat in the last couple of years, but then you say Tai Tui Vasa. I mean, who's hotter than him? And then Tom Aspinall comes in in London and shows the world he might be the next guy in line. Curtis Blades comes out and makes a statement tonight. The heavyweight division is a fun division right now. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.